welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be repotting some store-bought lithops plants here. You might remember these from um, an unboxing video I did recently where I got these at my local garden centre and they're only displayed in 5.5 centimetre pots. So they're not the right height for a lithops plant because a lithops has a long tap style root and it needs a long area of space for it to grow down so we're going to be repotting them into some taller pots so I'm going to be using my terracotta pots these are the ones that I get from B&Q and I drill the holes myself and they just happen to be the right height so we're going to use these ones for the lithops So if we put the lithops side by side with the clay pot, you can see what difference it's going to make with the root space. It's going to have so much more space here to help it grow properly. So if you happen to buy any lithops from anywhere and you see them in these small tiny pots, they would be fine like this for a little while, but they really do need a lot more space. And the soil that they're growing in needs to be changed as soon as possible, really. So this is the potting mixture I'm going to use and it's combined with lava rock, pumice, vermiculite, fir bark and it does have some grit gravel in there as well. So this is a really nice loose mix. So if this is your first time repotting a lithops, the first thing you need to do is take it out of its pot. So you just give it a gentle squeeze, but ones in this size of pot tend to come out really easily, like that. Tend to be quite compact. So you can see the soil there has not got enough drainage. It does have a little bit of sand in there that I can see. But we need to check the roots as well. So if you can see there, I've just spotted something white. So let's take a closer look at that. There we go, it's just come away quite easily. I don't think that was a cause for concern. It just looked like a little bit of mould. So let's carry on taking the soil away. So it's going to come away quite easily because when I bought these, they had a little bit of dampness to the soil. So they've pretty much dried out now. But be careful with lithops and hold them steady because you can sometimes damage the root very close to the bottom of the lithops. So just support that as you're taking the soil off. And the good thing with lithops is you can repot them straight away. Um, their roots don't need to heal up or anything like that. So they can be repotted straight away with no harm done. Unlike cactus plants which need to have time to callus over usually to help prevent root rot. So at the base of this lithops there is some dried um, up old leaves here so that can just be broken away here. So that will help improve the health of the lithops. You see this dry patch here, it's just from where the old leaves have shriveled up. So as I've taken away more soil, you can begin to see where the root attaches to the bottom of the lithops. So be very careful with this so it doesn't snap off. You can see I've took most of the old leaves away now. There's just a few scraps left here, which will finish scraping away, just to tidy and clean it up. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to line the pot about here, so it has somewhere for the roots to sit, about this level, and then refill, and then leave space for top dressing. So 
so that just sits there so that's the perfect height for me and then we'll infill with some more mix so this potting mixture I've got here is what I use for my cactus plants at the moment as well so it's suitable for my lithops as well so that's as far as I'm going to go so I've got about a centimetre here to add some top dressing and I'll add some chiodama to this one So there we go, that's that one done. So we do the exact same procedure for this one. So this one's got a bit of a curl in its root, but over time that should correct itself and start to grow downwards. So there we go, lithops repotted. I hope that's helped you repot your lithops that you've just bought. Thank you for watching. Bye.